Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprite, zo maar genoemd nieuwe aflevering van Layton's Mystery Journey. Ik moet nog steeds een beetje aan dit titel wennen. Um, we zijn heel dicht bij de clue van um, de eerste case die we aan het oplossen zijn. Namelijk het verdwijnen van een van de wijzers van uh, de Big Ben klok. Um, we gaan als het goed is nu terug om te reporten wat we allemaal weten. En dan uh, hoop ik dat we de laatste aanwijzing vinden om het hele verhaal af te ronden. Alright, Kat, who are to next? You've done the restaurant and the cake shop. Please tell me you're full now. Yes, I couldn't eat another thing. So let's carry on down to Chancellor Lane. Um, if we keep heading north, we'll arrive back at the office. Oh, I know what you're thinking, miss. We're stopping in for a quick strategy meeting, aren't we? To discuss our next move? Wrong. There's a lovely little boutique shop next to Leiden's Detective Angie. I thought we could have a peek. Have a peek? A boutique shop, miss? Alright, that's enough, cat. Get your mind back on the job. Come on, Ernest, back me up here. Well, if Miss Layton wants uh, to find even more delightful clothes to wear, I'm uh, all in for it. Oh, give me strength. Come along, the boutique awaits. Okay. Well, here are um, here we are outside the Layton Detective Agency. So, um, where is this boutique shop? It's just next door. Come along. Ah, are you really a detective? I'm starting to have my doubts. Will it be open? Do you think, Miss? Perhaps it's closed for the day, uh, if it's just a small shop. Hmm, you could be right, Ernest. Well, there's only way to find out. Is this Riddleton? Oh my god. Hey, die dude zit ook in andere Layton games, wow. Zit er helemaal geen... Wacht. Holy kwak. Ten hint coins. Holy shit. A Rooney. Oké, okay, er is een kitty cat. En er is die dude. En er is die dude. En er is Riddleton. Eerst kitty cat. En het is een uh, hele vette, coole uh, puzzel. Meow. Oh, a little cat. It looks like a stray. Perhaps it's lost, do you think? A poor mite. Um... Uh, we'll have to keep it uh, to keep it to find its water. Om de muter te vinden. Oké. Okay. Puzzle 10. Volgens mij hebben we nu wel wat gemist. Een paar puzzels. This is a letter lottery. Oké. Okay. You need to add horizontal lines to it in order to reunite its lost little ones with their mothers. Oké. Okay. Um, what is the minimum number of horizontal lines you need to add? Vraagteken. Okay. Oh, I got it. Even kijken, we kunnen een mailtje pakken. Kijk, we kunnen hier één doen. Dan kan die daarheen. En dan kan die daarheen. Als we hier nog één doen, dan kan die daarheen. En die daarheen, ja. En die daarheen. Dan, oh, kut. Uh, hoe doe ik? Nee. Ah, zo. Oké. Okay. Dan kan die daar komen. Dan moet die hier sowieso on onder zijn. En die hier ook onder zijn.
Ja. Ja. Ja, vijf zijn. Zo zou het moeten kloppen. If you'll entertain my idea here. Ik ben een puzzelmeester. I don't think it was lost at all. Hmm, I'm sure you're right, miss. It doesn't actually look like a kitten. It was worrying for I was worrying for nothing. Okay, Daisy do that more. I think you'll find this place was empty until recently, but someone set up a shop here right now. Latent Detective Agency, it says on the sign. See? Open bracket. In other words, a snoop device, close bracket. Uh, you can't trust detectives if you ask me. They're as bad as the master criminals they're supposed to investigate. Well, you can't trust the latent name. Uh, the agency's motto is any mystery solved. Uh, I make it my personal mission to get the bottom of any uh, and every conundrum um, that my client throw at me. You're the detectives? Oh, Bob, you're such an idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. It's alright. Please feel free to come for a consultation if there's anything you might be uh, we might be able to help with. What an harder bitch did. Oh ja, die dude is van Sangrio. Daar ken ik hem natuurlijk van. Benny, haal toch ook iets van een zus of zo? Kom met poponjo's. Sangrio's famous poponjo's. Special prize just for you. See poponjo's. Po poponjo's? Hmm, I'm sure I've seen uh, you before somewhere, loitering around some suspiciously. I'm not suspicious, I'm Benny. Anyone wearing an outfit like that needs tre treating suspiciously. Poponios are, uh, are the special souvenirs from my homeland, Sangrio. Uh, if you have Poponios, they say you get uh, good luck forever. They say your dreams come true. They say you'll be eternally happy. Gosh, that sounds almost too good to be true. I think I will have to decline, I'm afraid. We're in the middle of an important investigation at the moment. No, no, don't say so. Uh, if you don't like my papaponios, um, how about the papapuzzle? Puzzling paints. The colors of the paints are re representing the appearance of something. Okay. Apparently one of the colors can be seen every day, but which one is it? A is black, B is blue, C is white. Choose one of them. Ik denk dat het uh, gewoon heel simpel is. Colors of the paints are uh, representing appearance something. Apparently one of the colors can be seen every day. Blauw is het enige kleur. Zwart en wit zijn geen kleuren. Ik denk dat dat het, uh, de, de, de strik is. is an interesting one. Niet. Maar zwart en wit zijn helemaal geen kleuren. Ik word zo hard in mijn kontje gebonkt. Holy shit. Hein? Paints are representing the appearance of something. Okay. Apparently, one of the colors can be seen every day. Which which one is it? Dan maar wit proberen. Ik heb geen idee waar ze naartoe willen. Oh, dat zal zwart zijn. Ik word zo hard gedaaid. Try again. Ik ben wel heel benieuwd naar de uitleg hiervan. Dit moet het doen, denk ik. Puzzles zijn gemaakt voor solving. 
You did it. The paint colors are representing the appearance of the sky. Dat dacht ik al. Black is the night sky. Blue is the blue is the sky on a clear day. And white is the sky on a cloudy day. Uh, the color that can be seen every day regardless of the weather is the black of the night sky. Ah. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Fantastic. You got it right. Well, I think um, that you should have a grand uh, sangria paponio. Really? For free? For two thirds of the normal price. Oh, no. Thank you. No? Huh, why does no one want to buy my poponios? I come such a long way from Sangrio to tell my poponios all over the world, to sell my poponios all over the world. I was sure Londoners would like them, but nobody shows any interest at all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like to buy a poponio to cheer me up? No. <laughs> huh, doing business like this is not easy. Mevrouw Riddleton. Oh, where? Oh, then why are you hoping to buy something in the Lucky Clover? Well, I was uh, hoping to browse at least. Of course, you were, my dear. Um, it's run by a lady called Clover Price. She man she manages the place uh, all on her own, you know. She stocks the most beautiful clothes, and the hats and accessories are delightful too. But since it's just her running the place, her opening hours are rather hit and miss. She's very lucky to be she's very lucky to be able to pick and choose when she works. She's really a lucky clover. Uh... One piece. Hmm, the door won't budge. It looks like it's closed today after all. Oh, bother. Sorry, miss, but at least you can easily come again another day, seeing as it's right next to the door to the office. But I'm in the mood for shopping now. But you think it's really closed? Do you think the owner will open up for me? No one to give up, cat. Dairy me, you young Tearaways never look where you're going, do you? Sorry? Just look at that puddle at your feet. Oh goodness, you're right. My shoes would have been ruined. Tell you, madam. Uh, thank you, uh, madam. I'm very grateful. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Suede is terrible for getting wet, isn't it? It's funny that there's only a puddle here and nowhere else. I wonder why. There's nowhere for the water drain. Uh, there's no nowhere for the water to drain away. Of course, that's the trouble. Speaking of which, there's a fun little conundrum uh, I know about drains. I wonder uh, if you've come across it before. Hmm. Here is some very complicated pipe work. If you turn the correct two valves out of the eight valves at the top, the water will flow out of all of the exit pipes at the bottom. Okay. If the pipe splits into two, the water will both flow, flow both ways. If the pipe spills into two, oh yeah, that's mooi. But only in a downward direction. Okay. Touch a valve to select or deselect. Okay. Pak de memo erbij. Oh, en we zullen wel even de low screen erbij pakken. Dat is uh, makkelijker voor jullie om mee te kijken. Dit kan niet omhoog, dus 
Uh, dat kan ook hier vandaan komen trouwens. Heel even helemaal clear, hè? Als we A aanzetten, dan heb je die, ge die ge Hallo? Oh. Dan is. Dan is die gecoverd. Dan is die gecoverd. Dan is die gecoverd. Oh, en dan is die gecoverd. Als je A aanzet. We hebben eigenlijk alleen nog eentje voor die, die, die en die nodig. Als je E pakt, dan is die gekofferd. Die gekofferd. En die gekofferd. Maar deze is niet gekofferd dan. Dus E kunnen we niet pakken. Als we D pakken. Nee, dat zou raar zijn als we D pakken. Als we B pakken, dan is die gecoverd. Als we B pakken, is die ook gecoverd. Wordt die gecoverd, deze. Kan ook door E gecoverd worden, zie ik. Deze wordt E gecoverd, maar deze. F, maar ook de, ik denk dat we sowieso even B moeten hebben. Oké, okay, ik denk dat we moeten beginnen bij B. B, die kan deze coveren. Die kan deze coveren. Die kan deze coveren. En die kan deze kofferen. E kan die kofferen. Die kofferen. Die kofferen en die kofferen. Dus het is E. En wat zei ik nou? B en E zijn het. Lankering. De pistool die is zo. Wonderful, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. I wish I could solve the problem of this puddle like you solved that puzzle. Oh. There's always a puddle here after it rains. Ah, uh, did it rain yesterday then? One of my neighbors said it was raining in the middle of the night, yes. I don't know what she was uh, doing up, mind you. Um, it uh, sounds like it was just passing uh, a passing shower or two. Hmm, rain in the middle of the night. is complete Solve this case. Ja, yeah, laten we deze cases even gaan solven. Aha, I've got it. I know what happened to the missing clock hand. You do? Indeed, this mystery is history. Uh, who did it then, miss? All in good time, Ernest. We have to call Inspector Hastings first. We'll uh, he'll want to hear this, of course. In fact, yes, I should think the results of the forensic anala anala analysis will be ready by now. Ernest, could you trot over to Scotland Yard and pick up a, a copy of the results? You mean the analysis uh, of the samples they uh, took from the scene? Yes, that's right. Once we have that, I'll explain everything. The 
doesn't make any sense, Cat. Clock hands don't just go missing overnight. Well, not necessarily. What if the hand melted during the night? That's a possibility. No, no, no. Yes, no. I wonder. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! The hand of the clock must have been an enormous wafer. Now you're taking the brisket! Well, traces of a substance that could be wafer were found at the base of the clock tower. Take it down. Tell me you're making this up, please. The samples collected from the scene certainly could indicate a wafer-like material. It had me confused at first, but of course, wafer makes perfect sense. Oh, yes. Wafer makes perfect sense for a kitty cat. But for the rest of us who aren't crazy, it's a bit hard to swallow. It's the truth that's crazy, not me. Because the truth is stranger than fiction. Really? It's highly probable that the culprit is someone used to cooking cakes and pastries on a grand scale. In other words, a confectioner. We're looking for a master wafer maker. Oh, you again. What do you want now? Well, Mr. Lipsky. It's about the person responsible for the missing hour hand. Me? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is... If it's evidence you want, how about this? It's... it's drawing of hand! I believe you made this, didn't you? As a plan for your brother who had you make a giant clock hand out of wafer biscuit. I was not enough careful. Like idiot, I made stew. I dropped the hand, and it was broken. Now Ambassador is coming. And we are in pickle. So you came up with the idea of a wafer hand to buy you some time? No, yes. It was only thing I could think of. But my Bratsy is not to blame. It was all my idea. Bratsy, no. I thought a plan, not you. Quiet, Alex. I told you just follow what I say. <laughs> it's really very charming. Uh, huh? The idea of a giant clock hand made of wafer. It's a wonderful notion. <laughs> uh, still, I did not tell truth. I made big mistake. Now, I don't know what me and my Bratsy can do. Oh, that's easy. Easy? Yes. Make another one. We'll present your wonderful wafer clock hand to the ambassador as a gift. What foreign dignitary wouldn't be delighted by a life-sized replica of a piece of one of Britain's most iconic landmarks? Uh huh. British, you know how to entertain, huh? <laughs> Whatever may happen, you will never exit our hearts. So Ambassador Fukushigidafa visit went off like clockwork, and Britain's place uh, as a friendly ally to its European neighbors was firmly re-established. That's fine. Oh, Miss Layton, you're amazing. I can't believe it. That whole wafer thing. How wasn't that just a shaggy dog story? Ah, but you see, Sher, the truth is always stranger than fiction. Save the progress, yes, Ega. Lacquering. 
How did you like the basket, Cheryl? Uh, was it comfortable sleeping in there? Yeah, thanks, Ernest. It beats sleeping on the street, that's for sure. Or worse. Anything uh, to stay out of the pound. Out of better sea. Well, if there's anything else uh, at all that you need, do let me know. I hear you're homeless at the moment, Cheryl. You're welcome to live here at the office for a while if that would help. Yes, that would be a big help. Uh, this memory loss thing is a really rough deal. Um, I don't know who I am or where I come from. I just suddenly found myself wandering in the streets. That's the first thing I remember. Until you spotted one of our flyers and decided to enlist the service of the best detective in town. Yes, that was one of the leaflets I designed that picked uh, up Cheryl. Miss Layton um, had done absolutely no advertising at all since she set up here, uh, you know, so uh, I decided to take matters into my own hands, although we still haven't had any business. A part of a fragrant canine. Oh well, excuse me for merely being man's best friend. Now, now, Cheryl, I didn't say I was dissatisfied. In fact, I plan to use your dogginess to the full. You do? How? Actually, maybe I don't want to know. By having you do what dogs do best, using your nose, following the scent of a villain from a scene of the crime, for example. Oh, I say, Miss Layton, what a champion idea! Yes, Cheryl can be perform police dog duties with a heightened sense of smell. It'll be a wonderful asset to uh, the agency. I hate to rain on your parade, uh, but uh, this doggish nose knows notable smells at all. Sorry? There was too many nose. Are you telling us you can't smell anything? Not exactly, I mean, I can smell things, but no better than a human can, I'd say. Really? Oh, what a disappointment! I was thinking I might actually find a use for you. Well, sorry I'm such a letdown. Never mind, I'm sure, sh I'm sure Cheryl will prove useful in other ways. Oh, the phone. Get that, would you, Cheryl? Why me? Well, if you can't help sniff out the truth, you can at least do your take the phone calls for me. I'm a dog. I'll get it. <laughs> it could be someone with a job for us. Hmm, what can I set for working? you working on, Cheryl? You have to pay your uh, way somehow. Cleaning the toilet perhaps? Or filling? Filing? Oh no, your past prohibits so many tasks. Oh, I've got it. You could be the late in the HD mascot. <laughs> uh, we'll stand uh, you on prominent street corners tooting uh, for business. Oh yeah, and throw a fee free massage as well. Oh, it looked as Ernest is finished on the phone. That was Inspector Hastings from Scotland Yard, miss. Inspector Hastings? Does she have a new case for us? A murder, actually. What? A murder? A big case at last. Well, yes, except, well, it seems it's not that simple. The inspector said it was probably a murder, but m might not be a murder. But actually, it seems it probably is a murder. Maybe. It's not that hard. Did someone get killed by someone else or not? I don't know. The, the inspector wants um, you to meet him at Scotland Yard immediately. A murder that might be not a murder, but probably is a murder, maybe? Well, that's clear. Uh, certainly intriguing. <laughs> I smell a mystery that needs unraveling. Oh, bother. What's the matter with you? It's the last day of Riverside Festival, that's all. I'd rather hope to invite you to accompany me uh, to watch the show this evening, Miss Layton. Oh yes, I'd forgotten the festival was on that uh, at the moment. What kind of festival is it? It's a London tradition. It takes place on the banks of the Thames. It's a hoot, Cheryl. There uh, are street stalls serving food and drink and stage performances and oh, it's rather fun. Uh, it does go on for a whole week, but today is the last day. As a cli uh, climactic finish to the fe uh, festivities, tonight will be the Riverside Show of Devotion. Yeah, sounds like a real hoot. Oh, it really is. Lots of young men and women are uh, in love lined up on opposing banks of the Thames uh, to face each other and declare their mutual love. 
what in front of everyone else? Absolutely, they say that couples who declare uh, their love at the Riverside Festival will find eternal happiness together, you see? Really? I had no idea about that part of the festival. It's jolly romantic, don't you think? It was, I was hoping to escort Miss Layton uh, so we could watch the show together. But now, didn't you say it happens every year? There's always next year, uh, isn't there, Romeo? Perhaps not, actually. Numbers have been uh, dwindling the recent years, you see. There are rumors they might even abolish the festival altogether. This may very well be our last chance to experience it. I must admit, it does sound appealing. Really? The romance of it all gets you too? Does it, miss? Oh, joy. Ah, oh, sorry, Ernest. It's the food and drink stalls you mentioned that have uh, piqued my interest. Ruled by your hunger, not your heart. You should be a dog. Food at festivals always tastes better for some reason, don't you think? It's the atmosphere, I suppose. Oh, yes, I couldn't agree more. It's sharing with that someone special that really does it, isn't it? Yes, well, we mustn't keep Inspector Hastings waiting any longer, I suppose. Come along, you two. We need to pop over to Scotland Yard. Of course, miss. Why do you need to come? Uh, why do you need to come? Because you uh, need to earn your keep. Uh, you're getting a free lodging here at my office, remember? Unless you prefer the street corner advertising we discussed before. I grab my lead. Mm. I'm starting to think I picked the wrong agency here. Whoa. Walton Hatter, bitch. Murder on the Thames. So this is the famous Scotland Yard, is it? Uh, it's not such of a yard. It's not in Scotland either. <laughs> As a dog who likes open spaces, both revelations are a bit of a disappointment. <laughs> it's actually quite imposing, isn't it? I'll say, don't forget uh, that the Metropolitan Police are responsible for keeping the peace across the entire city of London. Uh, this is a very special place and not least, uh, not least because uh, it's where Miss Layton and I first met. It's one of the most treasured memories. Such a fateful meeting, wasn't it, miss? This is no time for reminiscing, Ernest. Inspector Hastings was, uh, has a possible murder or maybe not. <laughs> um, he needs our help with. Come along, let's go in. Oh, sorry, miss. Right you are. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie ik graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.